I am fucking hungover as shit. I was gonna stop drinking at like four last night, but Turbo Lover came up in a playlist, so I had to stay up and drink and listen to Judas Priest for five more hours. Sometimes it'd be like that. Anyway, I'm done with this painting. I call it Quis Custodia Ipsus Custodius. Anyway, that's uh, Latin for uh, who guards the guards themselves. But let's talk about it. So uh, structurally, this is set up uh, in a triangular manner, right? Almost like a pyramid in its buildup. Why are pyramids important? At Illuminati. Now, this uh, whole thing is a play on St. George and the Dragon, or St. Michael and the Devil, or Perseus and Andromeda. You know, where a beast comes from the sea to devour what's good about humanity. Or as it could be put in Romans 13.1. And I saw a beast coming out of the sea. Anyway, we got this great red dragon standing in front of this unholy altar. Which I think looks suspiciously like the Lincoln Memorial. Only instead of Lincoln on the inside, we have behind these bars silver golden books because the new form of slavery is to keep people poor and stupid now and then on top of the uh, what do you call it the, uh, the the freezes up on top of the freezes instead of the inscriptions of the state we have these eagles to symbolize who these people in Washington DC really are and then on this altar we have written Novus Ordo Seclorum or you know the new order of things to be and on this is where the beast is about to murder liberty now on this platform as we go down we can see written. I do it, Cleopatra. Or God favors our undertakings. But down carved with this donkey and elephant on this facade of democracy, we can see the gods this altar really belongs to. Flanking the altar and the podium, we have the Aces, which are Roman symbols of the Republic. Later, strictly used and adopted by totalitarian dictatorships. And the facies is what fascism is actually named after. Also, yes, those who parade the symbol are a tightly wound bundle of sticks. But anyway, to wrap this round, at the bottom of the stairs we have written, or simply put, 666. Which is kind of funny because there's some dispute about the number of the beast. Is it actually 666 or is it 616? But what's really interesting is that in Latin, 666 corresponds to the name of the Roman emperor at the time that it was written. Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. Or just Nero. But in Greek, 616 does the exact same thing when referencing Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, for he knows the time is short. Let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. Now, there is a lot of speculation about the book of Revelations just having been written about the Romans instead of, you know, the actual end times. Who knew? Anyway, looking at this modern Rome, spectating from the sidelines, we have the Colossus of Nero. Only instead of it being stone, it's gold, silver, bronze, iron, and clay. As a reference to the evil biblical king Nebuchadnezzar, he looks approvingly upon the slaughter of liberty by the beast. And finally, up at the forefront, we have what needs to be done. The, 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 the St. George, the Michael, the Perseus. Now, now, this bit only has a few details, but you can notice the watch. It's at two minutes to midnight. The closest that we've ever been to the end time on the doomsday clock. And then, you know, on the watch's face, we have written, Quis custodia tipsus custodis. Or, you know, who will guard the guards themselves? Now, th this hand is gloved, so it can be anyone. And it should be you. And his arm is clad in green, the traditional color of the rifleman. Anyway, um, well, let, me, let me know what you think. Or, you know, uh, leave a comment if I uh, left anything out or if you got questions. Or fucking whatever. Oh, and if you want some of my art, you can grab it at smokepitfairytales.com. Semper Fidelis.